This video will hopefully be spoiler free. Anyway, here we go. Tales of Vesperia is an action JRPG and often considered to be like one of the best entries in the Tales series. In the game, you play as ex-knight Yuri Lowell, who is trying to hunt down the mage who swindled the poor people of his town out of running water. And along the way, he gets roped into saving the world. <laughs> kind of usual JRPG protagonist shenanigans. The story is alright. It's got a few too many twists that ultimately didn't pay off for me, but it was a typical RPG plot done fairly well, and I'm not mad about it. The party members are really good. Well... Uh, most of them are, anyway. It took me a little over 50 hours to beat the game, and the characters really helped in making that time fly. Some characters get full arcs, but most of them just kind of open up to each other, and I like that. Characters don't need to dramatically change their outlooks on life or whatever. Sometimes, they just need to be more honest and open with their friends, and the friendship of the main cast of characters is really well written. It's undoubtable. The characters are fun, and I like the way they interact. The combat in the game is somewhat of a mixed bag. So you fight in these mini battle arenas that you can run around in, which is fine. You can equip and use a bunch of special moves, which is cool. And you have an item use cooldown to prevent you from spamming items, which isn't an issue most of the time. The big problems I encountered with combat were enemies being just slightly away on the Z-axis so my specials would whiff, and enemies, mainly bosses, being able to stun lock me, which proved to be pretty infuriating. Overall though, combat is pretty fun, you get all these cool moves you get to try out on all these different characters, and you can even do some aerial juggles, which is a pretty good time as well. It is worth noting that Vesperia throws a lot at you, like a lot, mechanically, a lot. <laughs> so you have all these HP and mana recovery items you need to buy, cooking mats you need to gather, gear upgrades, skills to set, spells to macro, character roster to manage, and you can even pick which character you play as and how you want them to play for each individual combat. I mean, there's a lot in the game. By the time you get used to everything, managing it all is pretty easy. It's just that the game unloads a lot of menus and micromanagement shenanigans on you at once, instead of slowly dishing that stuff out over time. Which, you know, it could be considered a good thing depending on the player. I got a few more notes here. One of them is that I found the last few villains of the game to be underwhelming, narratively speaking. I do think the game likes shifting its antagonists a lot, but the real enemy of the game, to me anyway, felt like it was a bit more existential. It went a little bit beyond just one bad guy. Like, it's more of the concept of humanity and our greed, or, you know, it could also be something along the lines of corrupted leadership and how, like, power from the top affects those down below or how like we as a society should be dealing with or correcting the mistakes of our ancestors bigger things more than this one bad dude right it's got some heavy stuff in the game actually and all that hits a lot harder than here's a new misguided bad guy but he's even stronger than the last one Ooh. <laughs> I don't normally play RPGs with the sound on. I tend to listen to podcasts, streams, or YouTube videos in the background as I grind my way through hordes of monsters. Tales of Vesperia is no different, so I can't really comment on the music or the voice acting. However, I did play it with the sound on for around an hour one time and my whole party just shouted a million words a minute during combat. Hey team, Editor Drew here, just real quick. So there is an option that you can turn off the battle voices while in combat so you don't hear your allies shouting every word in the English vocabulary at you while playing, in case you wanted to turn that off. It would be right here on screen. Didn't know that while I wrote the script, but yeah, there it is. And like I said, I have no opinion on the music or on the voice acting, but I do think if I had to hear my party members shout their moves at me for 50 hours, I probably wouldn't think as highly of the game as I currently do. 
My last note before I wrap this up is Tales of Vesperia is an older game. I actually remember trying the demo of it back on Xbox Live years and years ago. I even remember the level the demo takes place in. And listen, 13 year old Drew had no interest in Tales of Vesperia. However, playing this game now, as an adult, and as someone much better at games, I think Vesperia has a lot to offer. It has mature themes, it's one of the best, if not my favorite, rivalry in gaming. It has a really solid group of main characters. Well, you know, a lot of games just assure you that the playable characters are friends and get along. You know, they just say that we're friends and we get along, but Vesperia shows it and really proves it, and I think that's cool. And just all in all, the game rounds out to be a really solid experience. So wrapping it all up, Tales of Vesperia has fun combat, likable characters, and an okay story. Though I think the bosses are the weakest aspect of the game, you know, if we ignore the move shouting, I think the overall themes in the story are spectacular, with some of the better written protagonists I've seen in games. I'd highly recommend trying Tales of Vesperia out. You can try to hunt down a classic 360 copy, or just play the definitive version like I did. I will warn y'all that the Steam version does not have controller support, but I played the game on Switch and had a blast. Tales of Vesperia was a great time and well worth experiencing for yourself, so I'd give it a solid JoJo's Part 3 reference out of a, I don't know man, I haven't seen a lot of JoJo's and the little I've seen I haven't liked and I'm probably never going to watch it or read it. Thank you so much for watching, have a good one, and take it easy.